So you may like to print checks from QuickBooks. QuickBooks will put those checks in queue waiting for you to print the checks later. So let's see how that works. First I want to explain that if you're going to want to print a check later, then when you enter that you need to choose the check form. On the check form there is this print later button. If you enter something in the expense form, QuickBooks does not assume you're going to ever want to print that, so print later is not an option. So be sure to pick the right form for checks you plan to print later and check mark the print later button. You can see a list of the checks that you have waiting to be printed by viewing your check register. In your check register, those are listed as to print. To print. We would not be able to print this transaction because that was entered as an expense, not a check. To print the checks, we will go under vendors and choose print checks. The first time you're going to print checks in QuickBooks, this screen pops up because QuickBooks knows you have not printed checks using the software yet. If you've not ordered checks yet, I highly recommend that you order the voucher checks. The top part is the actual check. The middle part is the voucher to let the vendor know what you are paying. And the bottom part you can tear off and staple to your vendor's bill to have a record of how you paid it. If you do not keep paper records, you could scan this and attach it to your QuickBooks. If you order the standard checks that come three to a page, you could run into a printing issue because occasionally you will only need to print two checks, which leaves one check left to be printed later. We end up having to tape that to a full piece of paper to feed it through a printer, which sometimes gets jammed. So if you're going to print checks through QuickBooks, I highly recommend that you get the voucher checks. Also, if you're going to order checks and not order them through Intuit, you need to make sure when you're ordering the checks that you choose QuickBooks as your software. You also can tell the printing company how your printer loads. If it loads from the top face down or from the bottom face down or from the top face up or from the bottom face up, they will collate the checks in the box properly for you. If you're going to print several checks at one time, collating the checks in the printer is very important so that the check number that appears in QuickBooks matches the actual printed check. Sometimes we do have to play with our check setup. So please print, view and print a sample of, on a blank piece of paper and hold the check up against the window and make sure it lines up properly. You may have to play with it a little bit to get it to line up properly. Once you're finished and all the fields line up, then you can say, yes, I'm finished with the setup. If you're having issues, say no, continue to set up. Once we have our printer set up and we go to print checks, now this screen pops up showing us the checks that are waiting to be printed. If I don't want to print a certain check, I can uncheck mark it. If I want to print all checks, leave them all check marked. And tell QuickBooks what check number you are starting with to be printed. After you've done this the first time, QuickBooks will sequence the next check number after the last few that you've printed, it will know which should be your next check number. But always check this and make sure that it is correct because perhaps during the meantime you hand wrote a check that QuickBooks does not know about yet. If you realize when you see this list that there were other checks you needed to write, you can simply click the Add Check and go ahead and add another one and come back to this list and it will be here. You can do a preview and print. And look, QuickBooks says, wait a minute, you did not tell me the beginning check number. I can't do that yet. 
So if we do preview and print, then this should give us a preview of how the check is going to look. You can make sure the mailing address is correct. If you do use the voucher checks, you can order envelopes that are double windowed with a window on top and another window underneath. And you can just stuff these straight into the envelope if you have the address and you won't have to handwrite or create labels. So then I would say print and I would be finished. Here's both of the checks that I was printing and the voucher saying what I'm paying. Remember earlier our books by Bessie, we had a vendor credit, so this shows why we're only paying $55 on the voucher so that that company understands why we are paying less than we had originally owed, that we are taking advantage of our vendor credit. You can say print, select your printer, make sure the checks are loaded in properly, hit the print button, and you're set to go. And that is how we print checks in QuickBooks.